Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to PPPD. I'm Karen Perry, and Terry is out. And so we have our guest speaker again this week, and this is Dr. Robin Moore, Hi and guys. she teaches with us at uh, SAM. Today we're going to talk about review journals. For those of you, um, for librarians, probably already know this, but might be a little review and maybe new librarians maybe aren't aware of all the different choices and the common review journals that we rely on in the profession for selecting of materials. Um, and for teachers, this is kind of an inside for you. This is what your librarians use mainly to choose what they're putting in your library. Um, in your, uh, your school's selection policy, it probably states that your uh, librarian needs like two reviews or two positive reviews mm -hmm. for the materials that go into your library. And these are the things that we're going to be showing you that they use. So you've got a little inside scoop on what goes on with the librarian. So they're not just reading all day long. If you see them sitting right. at their desk, they're probably scouring their journals for the <laughs> reviews to, that they're looking for. Um, so we're going to get going. So we're going to talk about four different journals mm -hmm. today. Um, we're going to tell you a little bit about each one, kind of what they have inside. Um, and then at the end, we're going to say if you have a limited budget, maybe you can only afford one of these journals because they are expensive. They are expensive. Uh, they're worth it. Like which one we would suggest you purchase. Now, at one time when I had a healthy budget at the middle school, mm -hmm. we were given money for journals and we were uh, encouraged to do our journals out of that budget. And mm -hmm. I subscribed to the ones that were appropriate for my level at that time. So at one time mm -hmm. I had three different, I had three different subscriptions. When our budget was cut back, I cut back to only mm -hmm. one and the one that we're going to talk about. And if your collection policy says that you need two review sources, there's your justification for purchasing two and because there's always that thing you don't want to spend your students money right y'all rather buy another book than buy the magazine well this will help you get a good mat or good book instead of spending your money on something that you may not need okay so i say we're going to talk about um we'll talk about horn book first because it's the smallest of the bunch it's a cute little size <laughs> so for 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 reference you know, this is a, that's the size of the horn book. It's a small, small uh, set. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And um, so what, who would you say would benefit from the horn book? Um, everyone, school-wise, kindergarten through 12th grade, but they do have a, tend to have a little focus more on elementary. Okay. I do think that's true. This is actually, I love horn book, just a personal thing. Um, the reviews tend to be a little bit longer than I find in the other um, review sources. And they also um, have um, author interviews, which is kind of nice to share that with students that you know this little thing about an author or something that you might not otherwise now, know. Now this is the journal that also publishes the Caldecott and Newberry speeches every year too, mm -hmm. don't they? Yes, yes they So do. every uh, January when the Youth Media Awards are awarded, mm -hmm. the authors and illustrators or have give speeches right. and then they are reprinted in Hornbook. So that's mm -hmm. nice to know too. It's a nice record of all the past speeches. You can yes. find them in Hornbook. And can I also say it's a nice size to put in your purse to carry with you when you go to a doctor's office or somewhere you know you're going to be sitting and you can just sit out and then highlight which books you want to order. <laughs> so this is just a great little size. They too. do provide starred reviews. Yes, they do. So, you know, there are certain Re, uh, books that do receive that mm -hmm. highest honor so that's also a nice thing that you can kind of zoom in really quickly if you're just looking you know if you are in the doctor's office you can just kind of skip yes. from starred review to starred review just to mm -hmm. kind of uh, give you a, yes. a speed here and they also give the cover of the book yeah, which I like that too. I like that too a lot of them don't give you that they don't what the cover looks like I don't know, just just kind of a I like the cover neat piece to know what you're getting so. now if you can't afford the horn book mm -hmm. they do offer something else mm -hmm. called the horn book guide yes it comes out twice a year mm -hmm. we don't have one with us but I'll show you how about how big it is right. so twice a year mm -hmm. All it is, it's not any of the articles, no. it's not the speeches, it's not the interviews. Mm -hmm. All it is is a collection of reviews. So yes. you get the first half of the year, the second half of the year, mm -hmm. and you get a big book that looks about this thick. Yes. And it's just full of the horn book reviews. Mm -hmm. So you can opt to go that route. Right. And it, it's 
well, I guess with the internet now, ordering online, it's not a big a deal. But back in the day, we used to have to keep all these yep. until we placed our orders or rip all the pages yep. out and put them into a folder. So we knew when the big book came out, it was nice because it was all in one place. My order for the next six months, here it is. So that was kind of a nice little piece. And it's still kind of a nice tool. The only drawback that I saw mm -hmm. when I had it, it was I have I go through them all at once rather than getting to go through mm -hmm. the reviews as the journals come out individually. Now, how often does Horn Book come out? Every other month. Every other month. So it, it's not a monthly. It's every other month. Um, it's a nice tool. It is. It, it, it is a good a tool. Nice tool. All right. Next, we're going to do book list. Mm -hmm. Book list comes out twice a month, mm -hmm. September through August. Uh, no, September through. Hold on, it's right on the front page. September through June. June. July and August is only once a month. Mm -hmm. So you get something every month, but most of the months it's two issues a month. Mm -hmm. Now, one of our issues with book list is it's very, very dense with advertisements. Yes. It is the official publication, it is the ALA publication. of American Library Association. Mm -hmm. Not publication, sorry, review Source. publication. Yes. Right. Um, American Libraries is the actual journal of the American Library Association. Book list is the review mm -hmm. source that ALA puts out. Um, who would benefit from this? Or what, what kind of resources are in this journal? Again, it's everything. It's kindergarten, kindergarten, excuse me. <laughs> Through 12th grade, it also has adult, adult. novels, Remember not that. just kids stuff, right. which is kind of nice for your teachers too, to, because they could review some materials maybe they're wanting to read. And so, sometimes high schools have adult titles in their collections yes. as well, so yeah. that's true too. And they also tend to do spotlight, yep. something like this mm -hmm. one is on sports. Yep. They always so have a spotlight, I think every time. It's nice if you're mm -hmm. looking for a particular type of book, you go grab your book list from yeah. that edition, and then you can start looking for some things if you need something specific. Yeah. That is true. Uh, the reviews are shorter in this one. Much shorter. They're pretty short. Uh, I think maybe 150 words, maybe. I think because Terry actually uh, reviews for book list mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. um, and I think the I think it's 150, maybe 100 words. And then if it's a starred review, because they also have stars, mm -hmm. uh, they might get 150, something like that. So it's okay. not very long. So think about. Ooh, it's very concise. <laughs> I mean, it's very it hard for me. It is. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say about book list? No. It's also expensive. It, They're all expensive. But I think, don't you get book list when you get American Library? Nope. No, they're separate. Separate. Okay. Sorry, Unfortunately. I just don't want to give you the wrong no, thing. No, they're not. When you when you join ALA, you automatically get American Libraries. Libraries right. But book list, totally separate. extra. All right, next we're going to talk about VOYA. Mm -hmm. VOYA stands for Voices, no, Voice of Youth Advocates. The only people that really would benefit from this one are people that have mm -hmm. young adult titles in their collection. So junior high, um, high school, I had it in my, when I was a middle school librarian, I kept it too because definitely the range is, is there as well. Um, so it comes out every other month mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's a heavy duty publication. They have um, articles that, that are recurring so that there's one on technology. Um, I do a review column for audiobooks mm -hmm. in Voya, mm -hmm. um, but the reviews are, um, they're decent length. They're yes, not too they're short at all. Um, they, what I kind of like about the way they, they do their, they have a code at the top of each review, mm -hmm. and it's um, popularity, um, quality, and then the rating of the grade level that you, the reviewer kind of suggests that the book would be for. So if it's like uh, Gossip Girls, let's say, you know, okay, mm -hmm. that's, I'm really dating myself, but Gossip <laughs> Girls, um, you know, for, for uh, quality, it would probably be a what? Two or three P yeah, or Q. <laughs> so it'd be like two, three Q. You, you choose one. So we'd say, we'll be, we'll be nice. Three Q. Q. Three quality. But for popularity, what would it have been? Five. Five is the highest, so it would be 5P. Yeah. So it would say 3Q, 5P, S for senior high. Senior high, yeah. For senior Definitely. high. Because it's like middle school for M, J is junior high, because still some places have middle schools, some still have junior highs, mm -hmm. and those age ranges are a little different. And then S is for senior high. Mm -hmm. um, and now they have recently added the designation NA for new adult. Ooh. They've added that. They do have a nice graphic novel. 
-hmm. uh, they, they do review graphic novels, and so mm -hmm. there's the GN. Um, however, that's uh, yeah. that's, that's how it goes. So I kind of no, it's not too heavy on advertisements. On advertisements. advertisements. Mm -mm. It's very qual it's a good quality. The mm -hmm. paper is not thin. In book list and school library journal and stuff, they're pretty thin pages. Yes. They right. tear easily. Horn book also is good quality. Oh, yes. Um, so anyway, so that's Voya. So if you're an upper, if you're a you know secondary, mm -hmm. Voya would you would benefit from Voya. We're going to save our most uh, well-rounded one. I'm just looking at my time because I do have a class I need to be in uh -oh. at nine, but I'm good. Um, School Library Journal SLJ. Mm -hmm. What do you think about SLJ? This is the Bible for librarians. <laughs> It's really the jack of all trades. It really is. If you have the budget to purchase one journal, you would purchase Go to SLJ. SLJ. Yeah. Why? Well, it has articles yep. that are interesting. Like practical articles that yes. librarians can put into place, mm -hmm. you know, things to do. Yes, and things that are really going on. It's current. Um, it's things to look forward to. It also covers conferences. And it, it reviews multimedia, media. it reviews video, yes. it reviews apps and other technology. Mm -hmm. It's um, It um, reviews all levels, K th or pre-K through mm -hmm. a high school. Yes. They have starred reviews, which is normally from your vendors. They're going to give you a star reviewed list. You know, they're right there. I mean, this is the book that they get most of their star reviews from. Um, yeah, the articles are interesting. There's not a whole lot of advertisements, some, but not real bad. Um, but the reviews are very concise. They're quick to read. They're not, I'm not going to say they're short, mm -mm, they're good. but they're they're just, just enough. Mm -hmm. it, they're very concise. Um, one of the things we had talked about with this was one of the reasons you want to use one of these review sources instead of, say, Amazon's, you know, where people put mm -hmm. their opinions on there. Or and Goodreads. Stuff. Or Goodreads. Which I love Goodreads, and exactly. I use Goodreads, yes. but not for choosing, uh, not for collection development. Right. Because these, there's also a language among librarians that the more you read these, the more you start to go, oh, I get what they're trying to tell me right there. Where it's a different, it's librarian speak in these. And so it'll really help you too if you're a beginning librarian to start to learn the lingo mm -hmm. of librarians and how things are worded and said. So when you go to hear an author speak or you go to conference, these are terms you're going to start, they're going to mm -hmm. become second nature to you. Like just saying SLJ. The first time somebody said SLJ, I was like, SLJ, what is SLJ? Oh, do you, because I didn't know that they almost always abbreviate it, even though it's in big letters on the front. <laughs> and I'd never snapped to it. So, um, but yeah, yeah, this is this the is one it. right here. Now, the thing is, um, boy, I lost my train of thought. Oh. I had it in my head exactly what I was going to say. Hmm. What were you saying? Oh, um, okay, so the reviewers in these, yes. in these journals, they're not just anybody not anybody mm -hmm. just sends in a review they are they are uh, you know they people can apply and say I'm mm -hmm. interested in mm -hmm. but then there's a review editor that then looks over their stuff right. and makes sure that they you know write yeah you know there's quality writing or mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. um, and so these are not and they have and each each journal has like a standard and what they want in each review right. it's not just like you would find on Goodreads or Amazon customer reviews right. saying I love this book. It's great. Mm -hmm. I it made me laugh. You know, everybody mm -hmm. should read it. It's not those kind of reviews. Yeah. These are re these are professionals in the field. Librarians. These are librarians They're that not review. The editors of books. They're no. not the publishers of books review. This is the review from other librarians who are in the same position you're in. So right. it, it's very Now, we're not saying that it's not opinion. Because each reviewer is different. How could it not? Yeah. One reviewer could like it very much. Another reviewer could mm -hmm. hate it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still opinions, of yeah. course. But it's still our profession. It's our colleagues right. that are writing these right. reviews. And I think they do try to avoid some a lot of bias. Because this is what we do as librarians. I don't think there is a whole... I think they try to take a middle ground when they write the reviews in these type of journals. They're not trying to tell you oh this is my favorite book of the year da, 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 da. it's this book is about and this is something to look for about this book or this is what so it's there's a lot of support to the review 
Now, we're not saying that every review is perfect. We're not saying that every journal is perfect. And we are not, um, we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> True. Not every review is perfect. perfect. Not every no, journal because... is perfect. There could be something you completely disagree with in one of these journals. Mm -hmm. However, we are just giving you information of what's out there. <laughs> we are an educational outlet. That's right. So, all right. We hope that you got you have kind of a, a better understanding if you hadn't didn't already know about these uh, um, tools, tools. Mm -hmm. uh, that you do now. These are the what we rely on in the field to make selections for our um, for our collections. Yes. Um, whenever vendors would call, there's a lot of times there are those vendors out there that want to give you the huge box of materials and have mm -hmm. you look through them and choose what you want. I always said no to those. First of all, I'm too lazy and I don't want to have to box them up and send these things back. <laughs> Truly, that's one of the reasons, really. <sighs> but also my excuse would always be, I'm sorry, I make my purchases by reviews. Yes. I read reviews yes. in the journals to make my selections. Mm -hmm. I don't just review by the ones that you give me a box of. Yes. So, and the print uh, school some school districts won't even allow you to do that yeah. anymore because they bill you. Sometimes yeah, it's a, it's a hassle. And it's a mess. So, it is. So, yeah, ugh. I would too much avoid see, that. See, laziness. <laughs> too much hassle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but it's also if you ever have a challenge on a book, you have a review source yep. that supports you from a well-established organization yep. that will back your play on that. Right. So. It, Here's your backup. Yep. That's the first thing you do, really, if, if, if you know, besides, if, if somebody actually fills out your reconsideration form and starts the mm -hmm. official process, the first thing you do is you go to your review sources mm -hmm. and you pull every review you can mm -hmm. for your, for that particular title. And mm -hmm. so that's like step one after the process has started. And mm -hmm. so these are the places you go. And now, Karen, you know, I know SLJ is, on, yep. is online. Booklist has an online. Booklist, um, online. Booklist has a, some online. Um, thing you can I think you pay I don't know That's you may right. get it with the subscription but you also I believe can just choose to pay for online and not even get the paper paper journal right. so that you can check into that hornbook I'm not sure about I'm not online sure about either. I want I to say know. no but if somebody goes out there to check that there is an online option leave it in the comments and let us know there it is Voya um, I don't think that they, they they do have a digital copy however you get that as um, with your um, subscription. I don't know that you can just subscribe to the digital edition, but it is available once you do have a subscription. So mm -hmm. anyway, so, okay, so that's it. So we've got SLJ, Voya, Book List, and the Horn Book. There you go. Thank you for joining us. As always, if you have suggestions for something to cover, email us and let us know. Uh, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye, guys.